The death of a nine-week-old baby in Kent County is being ruled an accident. The baby boy was discovered dead in his crib at his family's Byron Center home over the weekend. Family members saw the infant lying face down on a soft pillow. The Kent County Sheriff's Department says it appears to be an accident. Criminal charges are not likely. Safe sleep has been a big push for doctors and nurses and hospitals who want to teach parents the best and safest way to put their baby to bed. Joining me live in studio right now, Deb Rewerts, who's a nurse and an educator with Metro Health Hospital. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Let's talk a little bit about crib safety mm -hmm. for babies when you put them in the crib. Um, what should the surroundings be like? You'd love to say that all of the pretty bumper pads and all the cute little um, stuffed animals and all those things that people love to see are the right things to have, but truly the best thing is just to have the baby with a safe sleep sack or a blanket on their back in their bed. Um, so very plain. Very plain. Yes. Nothing very plain. Let's talk a little bit more about sleep sacks. Now, let's, what's that all about? Safe sleep sacks are something that um, aren't terribly new, but it's new to Metro. In Jan uh, January of this year, we started to give a safe sleep sack to every one of our parents who deliver. Okay. Um, we feel that it's very important that moms and dads know how babies should be put to sleep. And so this is just one of those ways that we can help as nurses make sure that the message gets out to our parents. How does it work? Um, it's, it's very easy. Easy. Some babies like to be snuggled nice and tight mm -hmm. and it's very nice and warm and uh, for the winter time it's a fleece and the summertime we have ones that are cotton that we'll give to our parents. Uh, but you just put the baby in it just like you do a, a little onesie. Mm -hmm. The zipper is down at the bottom so that it doesn't impede anything on the baby's neck. Keep everything below the baby's shoulder area. It is also set up so that the whole uh, snuggy part can be removed and then the baby is just in the safe sack. So this little part that wraps around Exactly. the baby can be taken off mm -hmm. and you just want some the babies sack. like to interact with their environment and have their hands out Absolutely. others like to be wrapped snugly what about some of the any, any other products on the market that you think are a good idea for parents that uh, want to make sure that they're thinking of everything that they possibly can for uh, having the baby go to sleep sure. in their crib. If I am uh, um, going to go to somebody's shower, baby shower, mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. going to pick up a safe sleep sack. It's the best thing that you can buy for any mom. Um, it, inside this package it also has a nice little information um, about safe sleep practices that we give to the moms as well. So as soon as babies are born they go in the safe sleep sack and, and they're given to their parents and they get to take that home with them. And I noticed this baby has a, a pacifier. It does. Pacifiers um, the, the research is showing that it does help okay. uh, for moms that are breastfeeding. It's okay to delay a month before you introduce um, pacifiers and things like that. Uh, there's a lot of research that is done on safe sleep practices, but there really is not one thing um, that is shown to be incredibly effective in all cases. Mm. Um, probably the other thing that I would do is to make sure that parents know that it's so nice to have their babies up next to them and mm -hmm. sleeping on a couch and then they fall asleep and then the baby falls asleep and the baby falls off to the side and gets wedged in between the couch. On their back with and the sleep sack. That's the okay. best way you can do. Deborah Rewards, thank you so much for joining us. Thank we appreciate you. your time. Thank you.